Once upon a time, in a serene and remote mountain village, there lived a wise old monk who was revered by all. His wisdom was sought by people far and wide, who traveled great distances to hear his teachings. His most profound lesson was encapsulated in a single phrase, avoid regrets by keeping your mouth shut whenever you are happy, the monk had observed over the years how joy could turn into sorrow, and how the careless expression of happiness often led to unforeseen consequences. His teachings revolved around mindfulness and the power of silence, particularly in moments of joy. This story unfolds through the lives of three villagers who learned this lesson in their unique ways. The Young Farmer's Joy In the village, there lived a young farmer, known for his hard work and resilience. One year, after many seasons of struggling against poor harvests and inclement weather, his fields yielded an abundant crop. Overjoyed, the farmer rushed to the village square to share the news with everyone, rejoice with me, friends, he exclaimed, his face beaming. The gods have blessed my fields with the best harvest I've ever seen. I am the luckiest man in the village, the villagers gathered around, sharing in his happiness. They congratulated him and celebrated late into the night. However, as the old monk watched from a distance, a shadow of concern crossed his face. The farmer's exuberant announcement had unintended consequences. Hearing of his fortune, bandits from a neighboring region were drawn to the village. They planned to steal the farmer's bountiful produce. On a moonless night, they raided his storehouse, taking almost everything, devastated, the young farmer sought out the wise monk. Why did this happen to me? I was so happy, and I wanted to share my joy with others. Now I am left with nothing, the monk gently placed a hand on the farmer's shoulder. Your joy was pure, but its expression invited envy and greed. Sometimes, happiness is best cherished quietly, within the sanctuary of your heart. By keeping silent in your joy, you could have avoided this sorrow. The Merchant's Fortune In the same village lived a merchant who had a knack for trading. His business acumen was unparalleled, and one day, fortune smiled upon him when he struck a deal that would make him incredibly wealthy. Elated by his success, he decided to throw a grand feast and invited everyone to celebrate, come, everyone. Let us drink and be merry, for I have made a fortune that will secure our future, the feast was lavish, and the villagers marveled at the merchant's newfound wealth. But as the festivities went on, word of his prosperity spread beyond the village. Rival merchants and envious individuals began to conspire against him. They sought ways to undermine his business and tarnish his reputation. Soon, the merchant found himself embroiled in legal battles and false accusations. His wealth dwindled as he fought to clear his name and protect his livelihood. Distraught, he approached the wise monk, seeking guidance, Master, why has fortune turned against me? I shared my happiness with all, yet it brought me misery, the monk, with a serene expression, replied, when happiness turns to boastfulness, it can attract malice and ill will. By keeping your joy humble and your mouth shut, you preserve your fortune and peace. Silence is a shield that protects your happiness from the arrows of envy. The weaver's love, there was a weaver in the village, a woman whose delicate hands created the most beautiful fabrics. She fell deeply in love with a kind-hearted young man, and their love blossomed into a joyous relationship. Overwhelmed with happiness, she couldn't contain her excitement and shared her feelings with her friends and neighbors, love has found me, she would say, her eyes sparkling. I have never been happier, her friends were happy for her, but not everyone shared her joy. 
A rival weaver, envious of her happiness and skill, spread rumors and lies. She sowed seeds of doubt in the young man's heart, causing misunderstandings and conflicts, the relationship, once so vibrant and full of love, began to crumble. Heartbroken, the weaver sought solace in the wisdom of the old monk, Master, why has my love turned to sorrow? I only wanted to share my happiness, but it seems to have caused my downfall, the monk looked at her with compassionate eyes. Love, like a delicate fabric, must be handled with care. When you expose your deepest joys, they become vulnerable to the harshness of the world. By keeping your happiness close and your mouth shut, you protect the sanctity of your love. The monk's wisdom, the monk's teachings began to resonate deeply with the villagers. They started to understand the profound wisdom behind his words. Happiness, they realized, was a treasure to be safeguarded, not flaunted. The monk's philosophy was not about suppressing joy but about cultivating a mindful approach to its expression. One day, a group of villagers gathered at the monastery to express their gratitude and learn more about the monk's teachings. Master, one of them asked, how can we balance the joy we feel with the need for discretion? Isn't sharing happiness a natural human instinct? The monk smiled warmly. Indeed, sharing happiness is natural and can strengthen bonds. But it is the manner and context of sharing that matters. Reflect on your intentions. If you share to uplift others, to create genuine connections, do so with mindfulness. But if the sharing stems from a desire for validation or pride, it may lead to unforeseen consequences. He continued, silence is not merely the absence of speech, it is a space for introspection and understanding. When you keep your mouth shut in moments of joy, you give yourself the opportunity to appreciate it fully, to understand its source, and to protect it from external harm. The Festival of Silence, inspired by the monk's wisdom, the villagers decided to hold an annual festival of silence. During this festival, they would celebrate their joys and blessings in a quiet, contemplative manner. They would gather at the monastery, sit in meditation, and reflect on the moments of happiness that had graced their lives. The first festival of silence was a profound experience for everyone. As they sat in quiet reflection, they felt a deeper connection to their joys and a sense of peace that words could not convey. The young farmer, the merchant, and the weaver all found healing in the silence. They realized that their joys were still vibrant, even without being spoken aloud. The monk addressed the gathering at the end of the festival. True happiness lies within, unshaken by the external world. When you embrace silence, you find a space where joy can flourish, undisturbed by envy or malice. This silence is a sanctuary, a place where your happiness is protected and cherished. The legacy of wisdom, as years passed, the village flourished in a newfound sense of tranquility and harmony. The villagers had learned to cherish their joys quietly, and the festival of silence became a revered tradition. The old monk's teachings were passed down through generations, becoming an integral part of the village's cultural fabric. One day, the monk, now very old, called the villagers together for one final lesson. Sitting under a blooming cherry tree, he spoke in a voice that was both soft and powerful, my dear friends, I have seen this village grow and prosper. I have seen your joys and sorrows, your successes and failures. Remember this, happiness is a delicate gift. Treat it with respect and humility. When you feel joy, hold it close to your heart, and let silence be its guardian. With those words, the monk closed his eyes and slipped into a peaceful meditation, 
his spirit merging with the serenity of the mountains, the villagers stood in silence, absorbing the depth of his final lesson. They realized that the monk's wisdom was not just about keeping one's mouth shut but about cultivating a mindful, introspective approach to life. It was about understanding the profound connection between inner peace and the external world, and how silence could bridge that gap. Thanks for watching. Hope enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Just click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Also, feel free to leave a comment and let me know what you'd like to see next. See you in the next video.